Rucker. I met my lovely wife uh, after I graduated from college. She put me through law school with her art background. Eventually I became uh, a prosecutor here in Monmouth County in 1981. Uh, spent 25 years in the prosecutor's office, made it from law clerk all the way up to acting prosecutor of this great county. Uh, fortunately throughout the years I've been able to advance my career and now I'm a partner with Aunt Selgrim and Aaron doing criminal defense work here in, in Monmouth County and uh, continue to work with Kim on various projects um, in many different uh, venues here in Monmouth County. I've been involved uh, with the arts with Kim for I guess the last 20 years here in Monmouth County doing various projects including the Boys and Girls Club, Holiday Express. I was president of the Monmouth Bar Association, currently president of the 200 Club, which is a group that supports first responders. So I've been active in all those affairs and um, think that uh, when we came to Monmouth County in 1981, it was the best move we ever made. I'm Kim Roberts Honaker. Um, we have lived in Monmouth County, like you said, since 1981, started out in Freehold and then we moved to Shrewsbury. My joke is always that I'm a poster child for a, somebody for a career in the arts. Um, I started out, my father sent me to college art school in Philadelphia, and his one thing to me said, I'm willing to you know, support you to go to art school, but you've got to be able to get out and get a job. So I got out and I went to New York City and I was an art director. And then and then I just kind of, after we moved to Monmouth County, I, I had my own freelance business, worked for the Asbury Park Press, did some other things. And then um, I just decided to go into education later. I met the Freehold Regional District for about 17 years. And now I'm on another art journey. I'm doing my own artwork and I'm, executive producer of the fam family crime cast and um, just doing a lot of other creative things which is nice to have that that flexibility now. I've always been a supporter of the arts but really my relationship with Kim has enhanced my appreciation for the arts. I've seen how hard she works as an artist. Uh, she's introduced me to many great artists here in Monmouth County. Uh, she's got me involved with the Monmouth Arts Council and it's just been a phenomenal experience because you know, I'm a lawyer, I have a way of thinking, certain discipline way of thinking. Kim's an artist, more of a free, th free thinker and I think the fact that the two of us together make a good couple in that we're very supportive of the arts, very appreciative of the work of artists and want to give whatever support we can to those involved in the arts. Initially, how I found out about Monmouth Arts was through being an art educator. And what I happened there was I was looking for resources for my students. And of course, I got involved with the Teen Arts Festival and some other just activities and individual scholarships for students and things like that. And, um, and then I was approached by some board members at the time, some people that I knew, Mary Eileen Forat, who was a former, our former um, executive director, and asked to come on the board. I completed three terms on the board, and I also was, am a past chair of Monmouth Arts. Being in the county government for 25 years, while Kim was active in the Monmouth Arts, I saw a great connection between the arts and the economic development of our county, the programs that we've been involved in, how we've enhanced different programs. Uh, I've seen, particularly working with young people, how arts have steered them in the right direction rather than going in a different path. So there has been a lot of collateral benefits uh, in Monmouth County through the Monmouth Arts Council. Mm -hmm. I, I very, it's something that I really strongly feel is so important, is to expose students, young people at a certain time in their life to the arts. I think it is, can be a lifeline for them, as we've seen with our now Mammoth Arts' connection with the Boys and Girls Club. I think arts really teach you to be adaptable, and if you have to reinvent yourself, there's a lot of ways that you can reinvent yourself through the arts. 
We really appreciate the fact that Mammoth Arts is recognizing us for our work in the community. It's an honor and a privilege to accept this community service award uh, from Mammoth Arts. It's just a great organization. It's great for our community. It's great for the citizens of Monmouth County. And anybody out there who's not a member of Monmouth Arts, come on and join us because we have a great time. And I think that uh, without a doubt, this is one of the best things we've ever gotten, right, darling? Thank you, Monmouth Arts, and congratulations to all of the other honorees. We are honored to be in your presence also. Congratulations. Congratulations.